Hey friends, welcome back. Today's video is a cook with me where I bring you along and cook dinner most of the nights. Actually, this week is going to be a short week, but I'll get into that in a moment. If you are new around here, I do hope that you enjoy the video and please consider subscribing to be a part of the family. Also head over to the Instagram page and follow us over there for more fun and shenanigans. Um, if you guys have been following, I am still a bit under the weather. Today is Wednesday. This video will hopefully go up on, honestly, I don't know what day it's going up. But today is Wednesday. I was in the hospital from Saturday night until Monday, like around noon. And so I'm just still recovering. I spent two days in bed when I got home. So don't like freak out because I'm out of bed and actually cooking. But um, so this week's dinner video is actually starting on Wednesday. So it'll be Wednesday through Saturday. So it's a short week, but I do have a little bit of energy. Will is pulling some major OT today. It is 7 p.m. and he has been at work since like 4 a.m. Um, but where he had to call in and take a personal day on Sunday because of me being in the hospital he's taking all the extra hours he can get so he's been eating throughout the day and stuff so I told him stay on top of yourself obviously I know what it's like to be severely dehydrated and not taking care of myself the way that I probably should have been so I'm gonna start dinner and hopefully he's home soon to enjoy it um, but other than that thanks for all the well wishes and let's get started and jump into this week's or what's left of this week's dinner video. All right, friends, as I mentioned, it is Wednesday night. I am making a sweet Thai chili sauce, like garlic um, chicken thing with rice. So it's just a special sauce that I'm making. You could also buy like a pre-made marinade and do it that way. So what I've got going here is four chicken breasts, some green onions. They're starting to get a little wilted at the ends, two limes, about four tablespoons of butter, about uh, almost a tablespoon of minced garlic. I get this at Costco. This has about one tablespoon of soy sauce and three tablespoons of uh, Thai sweet chili sauce in there. Did I mention the rice? A cup and a half of rice. So I'm gonna get started. The first thing I'm gonna do, um, if you watch some of my videos and meal preps or cook with me, is I always rinse my rice under cold water until it runs clear. Again, I don't remember where I learned that, but it's just something I do at this point in my life, so bear with me. Um, and we cook with a lot of rice recently, just because it's easy and fast and goes well with like burrito bowls or chicken or whatever the case is. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then we'll start assembling the only thing I really have to cut I have to cut the limes and then um, dice and separate the scallions greens and whites separated but other than that there's not a lot of prep that goes into it so that'll make for a quick dinner tonight <music> Next I'm going to melt two tablespoons of butter in here and then I'm going to add the um, whites of the green onions or the scallions and the garlic and cook that until it's fragrant which is usually like 30 to 45 seconds. From there I'm going to add two and a quarter cups of water and the rice, bring that to a boil and cook it so that'll be like easy peasy. I don't know why I'm showing you the pan but that, that's what's happening there. You and I and everything is so, thing is so. So call me out, call me out, baby. So call me out, baby. Together we can go crazy. You and me in the night. I'm feeling alright. Now I got you in I want. So call me out, baby. Together we can go crazy. You and me You're keeping up with steps I take So we just dance alone Yeah, we dance like no one's watching So call me out, call me out, baby So call me out, baby Together we can go crazy You and me in the night
guys, so here's the finished product. Will just walked in the door as I was starting to plate. He's running out to take a quick shower. Um, it is quarter to eight, and like I said, he's been at work since 4 a.m., if that gives you any indication of how his day has gone and um, how hungry he might be. So as you can see, I built him a pretty big plate. He got two chicken breasts, a pretty decent serving of the rice, and then the rest of the corn after I doled out the little bits that the kids and I'll eat. I'm having a smaller serving. Again, I'm not like super hungry. Um, still working, getting my appetite back from being in the hospital and just being on like super strong antibiotics. And then for the kids, I knew they wouldn't like the sweet chili sauce because it is spicy. So they shared a chicken breast. Alice has ketchup, Jackson has barbecue. They've both got corn and then apples because for some reason, neither of them really like rice either. These children are definitely, um, they don't have the same taste preferences that I do. What's up, sister? Do what? Are you ready for dinner? Did you wrap that around your finger and maybe you shouldn't have? Do you need help? Do we need to cut it off? Okay, so you just need me to help pull it off. Pull your whole finger off. Oh, you got it, good. Don't blow my <laughs> Are you ready for dinner? Can you show them your new, your new dress? It doesn't really twirl, it's more of a skinny dress. It looks almost like a romper, but it's a LuLaRoe, I don't know what style it is, but it has little pockets and she's wearing shorts underneath. You wanna show them your pockets? They're in the front. But then I love Super it. cute. I love oh no. All right, dinner time. We will see you tomorrow. Hey friends, tonight is Thursday and it is the 4th of July. So I am cooking steaks, but because we don't have a grill where we rent a townhouse, um, grills are kind of an iffy thing. I'm actually doing them in the air fryer, which I've done before. Um, so tonight's gonna be a, hopefully a quick meal. Well, it's an easy meal. I don't know how quick because the potatoes might have to cook for like 20 minutes and then the steak for like another 12 but still pretty quick. So along with the steaks, which are going into the air fryer, I usually do those about 10 minutes, I think. Maybe a little bit less. I check them just to kind of see where they're sitting. Um, I've got a few potatoes that I'm going to dice up and make um, air fryer ranch potatoes. So I'm gonna dice those, spray them with some olive oil, add some ranch powder to them um, with some salt and pepper. Well, probably won't even use salt and pepper. I'll probably just use the ranch. And then to make it easy, um, a can of corn, just like last night. I would prefer corn on the cob, but honestly, where I'm still not feeling 100% yet, uh, I haven't gone grocery shopping, nor have I placed a grocery pickup order because we're trying to get through some stuff. So quick and easy meal tonight, let's get started. So you see what I just did there? I just diced them, sprayed them, put the ranch packet on there. Not even, it was probably maybe a third of the ranch packet. Uh, so these are gonna go into the air fryer for about 20 to 24 minutes, maybe not even that long. I'm gonna keep an eye on them um, and go from there. Once these are done, I'll cook the steaks in the air fryer. Um, I'll keep these warm just by putting them in the microwave just to hold heat. Um, yeah, so quick and easy. So I will make sure to link the air fryer that I have down in the description box. Um, while these steaks kind of rest, I salted them. I'm gonna add some of the Grill Maids Brazilian Steakhouse seasoning to it. It just looks like this. Nothing like super exciting, but give it some flavor on top of the salt that I've already put on there. Um, and I'll let these sit for a little bit before cooking them. I've heard that it's best to let them like not be super cold before you cook them. So correct me if I'm wrong. I'm no steak connoisseur by any means, but that's what I've heard. Okay, so that did not take nearly as long, maybe because I didn't have as many potatoes as what it said online. Um, that only took about, let me see, 12 minutes. So not too bad, and they look delicious. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the steak in. This is obviously already hot, which will work to our benefit. Um, I'm gonna spray a little bit just so it doesn't stick. 
and like I said, I cook these for about six minutes. I check them. Sometimes thicker ones need to be put on um, a bit longer, but these are all pretty thin, and we like our steak medium rare, if that says anything to you. So obviously, if you like them more well-cooked, you're gonna want them on there longer. So I'm gonna pop this in for six, check it, see where we stand, and go from there. So I ended up doing six minutes and then I checked them and I did an additional two minutes. So eight minutes total. The thicker ones, uh, Will and I will probably have, and I'll cut one of the thin ones for the kids. Jackson might want more than that, I don't know. He said he's really hungry. So I'm gonna let these rest for just a few minutes. I'm gonna just cut the kids up because it's just easier for kids to eat it when it's already cut, right? Yes, okay. Um, and then I'll plate it and you will see the end result. The corn, I literally just put into a bowl, tablespoon of butter, some salt. Um, I'm gonna microwave this for a minute right before plating. And the potatoes are still in the microwave just like keeping their heat in. And here's the finished product, plated and ready to eat. We are very hungry. Um, Jackson just came downstairs and he's so excited for steak. So we've got Alice and Jackson's plates. Everybody has everything except Will does not have um, or the sugar snap piece. And the kids have ranch to dip theirs. I just eat mine plain because they're sweet enough for me. So this will be dinner for the 4th of July, which is Thursday, and we will see you tomorrow for Friday's meal. All right, friends, tonight is Friday night. We are having um, a sausage and pepper jack melt sandwich, kind of like a grilled cheese, but fancier. So I've got four Italian chicken sausages here that I'm gonna cook in the air fryer. I've never done that before, but let's cross our fingers and hope that it turns out, because I don't feel like heating the oven. Um, two long peppers, an onion, some pepper jack cheese. This is probably about a cup. Two tablespoons of sugar to like caramelize the pepper and onion mixture that you'll see in a bit and then butter to actually cook the sandwiches in and then bread so not a lot of prep i've just got to um first i'm gonna put the sausages into the air fryer basket um i'll link the air fryer down below i think i've already mentioned that um but i'm gonna get those on because i think they're gonna have to cook for about 15 minutes and then i'm going to dice the peppers and onions and start the sauteing process on that, which I'll show you. Um, and then add the sugar, a few tablespoons of water to caramelize them, and then we'll assemble the sandwiches and put them in a frying pan, which is where the butter comes in. So let's go ahead and get to cooking. And as I often do, I was gonna show you what I'm listening to while cooking recently. It's called My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. Um, it is a like thriller, crime, not crime. It's like a murder mystery type thing. It's not so much mystery. How would I, what would I call this? I don't know, read the description on Goodreads or something. Um, it's pretty good. It's basically about a female serial killer who kind of brings her husband along for the thrill of it all. Um, and I'm 72% done, so I should probably finish it today or tomorrow. But I'm gonna start uh, dicing, slicing these veggies. I've got you stuck in my memory. Some say that hearts come first, but they've never known what it's like to be in love at 20 years old. We kiss in the rain till we catch a cold. Some say that love don't hurt, but I want you back, back, cause I've got you stuck in my memory. And every wall is getting close And I don't know what to do Can't you save my soul? Can't you save my soul? Can't you mend my heart? Can't you mend my heart? I want you back, back, want you back, back, back Yeah I want you back, back, want you back, back, back Some say that love don't hurt But I've got 
got you stuck in my memory Some say that hearts come first But they've never known what it's like to be In love at 20 years old We kiss in the rain till we catch a cold Some say that love don't hurt But I want you back, back Cause I got you stuck in my memory Okay, so I didn't think that through because the cheese, when I go to flip it, is gonna fall all over. Um, so I'm gonna transfer the cheese over to here because I do want cheese on either side to kind of adhere the sandwich together when I go to cook it. Um, so there's one, let's assemble the rest. I'm gonna cook two at a time in the frying pan. So I'll show you that in a minute. And here's the finished product. As you can see, I had a little trouble flipping them. Um, which is to be expected when they're like that full, but they turned out good. Will's eating his right now and he said it's good. The kids actually had uh, breakfast for dinner. They had eggs and toast and yogurt because these are not quite up their alley. Um, but I'm about to sit down with at least one sandwich and Will can have the rest. I've never made anything quite like this. I've never done like patty melts or anything, so I'm excited. They look yummy. Hey friends, it is Saturday night, last video of the week. It's gonna be an easy one. I am making chicken sandwiches. Um, like McChickens, but at home because, yeah. And corn on the cob. Corn on the cob is going to be done in the air fryer, which I've never done. So anyway, I've got these brioche buns. These are from Costco. They're amazing. I use them for like sub-style sandwiches and Will's lunch, and I thought they would be great for the chicken sandwiches. Going to slice up some Roma tomato. We've got some shredded lettuce here, already shredded to make my life easier. Um, we're also going to have some sliced cucumber on the side. The chicken I'm using is the Tyson chicken patties. I get these from Walmart. I should have gotten a bigger pack because I had these on the menu for another meal coming up in a few days and I'm not gonna have enough. So I might have to run in the store and grab some. Corn on the cob is from Costco. Alice requested that. Um, I'm hoping it turns out in the air fryer. And then I've got some mayo for the sandwiches as well. Um, so yeah, there's not a lot of prep. I'm basically going to cook the patties in the oven the corn in the air fryer and then just assemble it. So you'll you'll see that part, I suppose. All right, so I've got the oven preheating to 400 degrees as per the directions on this pack. Um, will wants three. I'm going to have probably one and a half because Alice only wants one, so or half of one. So Will's three, Jackson's one, my one, and then Alice's half. And then if I'm still hungry, I'll eat her other half, if not, It'll just be there. So those will go in for 17 to 20 minutes in the oven. Very exciting, I know. You had me at low. Corn is going into the air fryer 370 degrees for about 17 to 20 minutes per what I found online. I'll check it halfway through just to make sure. Um, but we'll play with that. And you got me too. You can ride out of the blue. I wanna do what you want to. We can leave and run away someday. Someday.
All right, here's Will's plate. I still have two over here. I give the kids each half to start with, like I said. Um, corn was in for 370 degrees for, let me think, 14 minutes, and it looks fine. Um, you'll see where I rolled the corn in like a plate of melted butter. Sandwiches, cucumbers, and then my plate. Jackson decided he didn't want corn, so there's still one more corn, two more patties. Will can have one, the kids, Jackson can have half or more, whatever. That's what we have right now. So, this is the last meal of the week. We're gonna sit down and eat. Yes. And there's another short week of dinners for you. Hopefully you enjoy the cook with me style. And let's just drop graham crackers on the floor. Uh, the, the way I've been doing it, I've had a lot of good feedback. Um, some of the recipes I use are from every plate that we've gotten in the past or current ones. I try to make them where you can easily adapt them at home. The only thing I don't do is like type out the entire recipe in the comments below. If there's a recipe that I'm making, like from Pinterest or from a website that has a link, I definitely will include that. But for the most part, it's just winging it. Um, so like, I don't really follow a recipe, like stuff that I'm making just off the top of my head or using the every plate recipe cards, which don't have exact measurements on it. So I will typically try to like guesstimate and tell you, um, cause I try to measure it out beforehand. So that way those of you who want to replicate it at home, you can. So that's that. I am going to close this out and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. You say me too. Yeah, I need it. Don't you need, need it too? Cause I got you. And you got me too.